Good morning, Capricorn. Narai here. I already put on my Florida water. I already did it. I had to restart my video. I do not want to waste my Florida water by just putting it on so I can do it on camera. I already did it and had to restart my video. Um, so this reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South Node. I too am a fellow Capricorn. <clears throat> I started my channel was a Capricorn channel, but it's not. I do all signs. I am not consistent. I'm working on my consistency. And let me tell you, it is such a challenge. So there might be two or three days where you don't get anything from me. And if I need my space from YouTube, and tarot i will let you know i just hope that when i choose to do that you stick with me the last time i did that i lost up quite a few subscribers but we need time for self-care too and sometimes when we take that time for ourselves and we come back we come back with a little more ability to do what we need to do for you guys so thank you for those that have stuck with me I have people that are still with me that I may not see as often because they're just not resonating with my videos and that's okay. I appreciate all the support and just know that every reader is not going to resonate with you all the time because it's not a personal reading. It's, it's a lot of energy that's being read and everybody is not going through the same thing at the same time bottom of the deck is the three of swords so we're going to see if that comes up we're going to see if that comes up so know to take what fits and leave the rest so the first card i have capricorn is the six of swords this is you guys moving away from something um moving on to calmer waters oh wow so I'm going to show this the way that I see it. Okay, the way that it's showing for me is, I think it's going to show opposite for you. No, I'm going to, okay, it'll show right. You're moving on to calmer waters. And what's on the other side? An emperor, stability. Um, this could be somebody that you're meeting or this could actually be you taking back control of your life in regards to a particular situation. And what's funny about this, <coughs> excuse me, is before I restarted my video, I was actually talking about how I woke up this morning to use the bathroom my alarm clock had gone off. And normally when my alarm clock goes off and I get up, I'm out of bed. I stay out of bed. But for some reason, something told me to go back into bed. So I went back to bed and I dozed off. And when I woke up, the thought that was in my mind, which is not was not for me because I don't do this anymore. It had to do with, um, <clears throat> it had to do with speaking up for yourself. But not just in romantic relationships, like a lot of times I talk about doing that in re romantic relationships, but any relationship. And um, I was talking about somebody that made plans with me. Well, I was trying to make plans with, and I see making plans with other people all the time. And then when it came to me, it just, and this is not what it was, but this is what it felt like. It just felt like, okay, so you can make plans with other people, but when it comes to me, I have to wait for you to tell me and they were like well things may come up and I was like that's not gonna work for me it's not and so we made our plans and it was understood that if something comes up then you back out you don't have a person waiting in limbo to see what you're going to do and this is not talking about you but the other person like you don't need somebody having you in limbo to wait and see what they're going to do because what it seems like and what it may feel like to some of you is that that person is waiting to see, <clears throat> excuse me, if better plans come along. Um, if it's a friend, like a platonic friend or 
um, something like that. I don't think that that's the case. But when it comes to a romantic relationship, that is really what it can feel like. And for some of you, you may feel like you've dealt with somebody that if they had better plans, they just put you on the back burner. Um, I've, I've been with people in the past that have made plans with me to come visit me and then flaked out on those plans, like from out of town. Um, and this is a romantic partner and then flaked out and then stayed to hang out with a friend. Well, your friend's always there. So did I believe it was a, I mean, now I don't think so. I think it was a lie and that it was somebody romantic, whether it was same gender or different gender. I don't know. But it is what it is. But I feel that some of you have dealt with that. So I needed to say that because that came to me in a dream and it's not something I deal with anymore. I won't. If I ask you to do something, we're either going to make plans or the answer is going to be no. In Capricorn, some of you need to stick up for yourself. And when you ask somebody to do something, it's either a yes or a no. There's not a, well, I'll let you know. No, tell me now because if you can't, then I'll make others. I'll make other plans. Ooh. And I think that what I'm talking about, some of you have gone through a lot and it's caused you a lot of pain. This is a ton of swords. This is a lot of pain. This is like the ultimate betrayal. It can't get any worse than this. But it's like you looking off and, and walking away. You're moving away from something. Um, but this is you learning how to be patient too. This has to do with being patient and grounded. So I think after something happened, your focus is being patient with yourself and being kind with yourself and, and getting grounded. You're moving towards your stability. I don't care what anybody says. If you moved away from something or someone, you move towards your stability. And then I have the Page of Wands. I think some of you are learning to have fun. Some of you are in that energy where you're learning to have fun. You're entertaining an inner child and doing the things that your inner child want to do. And you're trying to find the joy and excitement in life. You're seeing what else is out there and you're planning. Some of you plan on traveling and some of you are going to learn how to travel by yourself. And let me tell you, traveling by yourself is fun because guess what? You don't have to worry about nobody nagging. You don't have to worry about nobody getting on your nerves. Um, I think the best trips I have taken have been by myself. Uh, I used to go to Florida every year. I actually have a little fund and I started saving money for a vacation so that I could go to Florida by myself. And I prefer to do that and not meet up with nobody because I realize when I travel with people, I always have to deal with their shit and I don't like it. And so some of you may need to learn how to do travel by yourself. You may need to learn how to just do things by yourself. I see somebody renting a car and driving. I see somebody going out of town um, and traveling with friends and celebrating their independence. Um, celebrating themselves. What I think about relationships and breakups now after watching a video on, I think it was on YouTube and I believe it was a rapper and I can't remember which one it was. And he was talking about divorce. I think he was talking about divorce. I, in my life, like if something doesn't work out as far as a relationship, I won't celebrate the end, the breakup. I will celebrate my growth and my independence from it. Um, and so some of you may choose to actually do that to celebrate yourself. Ooh. Hmm. See, the two of wands is planning. The three of wands is planning and actually doing something about it. Like she's not just, so she planned to travel the world 
we're going to act like she's wearing a wig. She planned to travel the world, get out there, and now she is. And then I have the Knight of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that's not romantic. I feel like some of you do not want to deal with romance right now. I already know that for a fact, but <laughs> um, I feel like this is more about you focusing on yourself. Hmm. I have the Page of Cups. I think some some of you may have realized how much immaturity you dealt with in romantic relationships. When it comes to love, the types of emotionally immature people that you have dealt with, some of you may realize that in certain instances you may have the tendency to be emotionally mature. And this is not a, a criticism. This is just what I'm getting from the cards. You decide if it's your story or not. Um, I have hermit mode. A lot of you are focused on being in hermit mode and just enjoying your solitude. Some of you may feel that after hermit mode, you feel refreshed. Refreshed and more knowledgeable about yourself. It's almost like a period of self-discovery for some of you. And then I have the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> That's so funny. When I saw this, I just thought, I'm just going to let go and let God. Some of you are learning about how you handle things emotionally and trying to make a change in regards to that. That's what I see. I just realized that's in the picture. And then I have the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. As I stated the other day, you guys are not you're choosing not to be the Wounded Warrior anymore. You're like, no more. No more Wounded Warrior. And you realize that you do a lot of things emotionally and that causes you to stay in the energy where you get hurt. Or stay in the situation where you get hurt. What do we have for Capricorn, please? And thank you. What time is it? All right. Three more cards. Ooh, the King of Cups. The King of Cups. This is somebody emotionally mature and stable. This is like somebody on the same page as you when it comes to being able to express yourself and even probably in your views in regards to relationships. And <clears throat> or this is just representing the King and Queen of Cups energy for you guys. I feel like there's somebody that may come along that has been hurt too mm. this is about being patient and healing there still may be healing needed um or you end up meeting somebody that's in the temperance energy where they're healing and they're patient with themselves they're finding balance. You guys may need to still do that. I feel like temperance is like one of those cards that should always be present because I always feel like there's some sort of healing that can benefit us. And I feel like that temperance will actually prevent heartbreak in the future by being patient, especially being patient and not having, not, not doing things impulsively and doing things in moderation because heartbreak doesn't necessarily just have to do with the romantic relationship. We get heartbroken all the time. Um, family and friends, 
Well, not everyone. I mean, it's just possible to happen at any time. And sometimes we even do it to ourselves. By not keeping our word and not honoring ourselves. But I feel like it's just showing that a past heartbreak still lingers. Like some sort... I think it's a reminder that no matter how much... How do I say? You know what it's like? It's like a vase that's broken and glued back together you're always going to see the cracks it's not broken but you can see when it was you can see when it was that damn page of swords always wants to come out <clears throat> and more than likely Somebody's going to reach out. And it could be because they got their heart broken. I don't think this is somebody that you really want to hear from. They always seem to creep into the reading. I just thought somebody that acts like a know-it-all. Didn't I say two cards earlier and I'm still shuffling? Messages and guidance. Ooh. Yep. Somebody toxic is going to reach out. But somebody's going to reach out to you. This is you, Cappies. And, mm. This is somebody that was stringing you along. <clears throat> and that's funny because you see those strings there. And then there's strings there. The reason I'm saying strings here is like this person put ideas in your head or went along with some plans that you had knowing that that's not the plans that they had. And they led you to believe something was going to happen that never was going to happen. They never had any intention for some of you. And I feel like this person is attractive. They may have something different going on with their eyes. They may be um, somebody that has tattoos. They may be somebody that likes attention from everyone. That's always a red flag. But I have the chariot. I feel like there's something coming towards you that's going to come fast and you're going to have to have willpower. Um, but I feel like whatever this is, this is going to be good. This is not this person. And you're going to have some choices to make. I think you may be hesitant, but there's going to be some choices. So take your time and be patient. And with the Ace of Wands, there's a new passionate beginning and there's something that you're starting. Maybe a business, um, maybe some sort of project. But this does not have to be a love reading. This is just about you focusing on yourself, maybe taking time for yourself and traveling, doing something for yourself. Um, and being mindful of the relationships that you have, regardless of the types that they are. And speaking up for yourself. Not allowing people to just come in and take your energy or come to you when it's convenient. Putting you on the back burner like you're an option. Nope. When it comes to plans with Capricorn, either make the plans with Capricorn. Don't leave Capricorn in limbo because um, Capricorn doesn't need to put Capricorn's life on hold for anybody. Friends, family, or lovers, it does not matter. My name is Naraya and I approve this message. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope this resonated with somebody. I don't think it's going to resonate with everyone. It's not meant to. Um... So I'm going to leave you with that. 
And then um, the person yesterday that recommended a crystal for me, um, one moment, I want to thank you in my video. Uh, Vera Pointer, thank you very much for recommending Blue Appetite because I bought myself two necklaces yesterday, one with a gold chain and one with a silver chain. So I thank you for the inspiration and I have purchased myself two Blue Appetite necklaces thanks to you. So I appreciate you. And if you guys want to know what Blue Appetite is for, just Google it. Appetite is spelled A-P-A-T-I-T-E. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, bye.